take a look at the toe movement shown on the screen. Quite boring, isn't it? You might wonder why we're dedicating an entire video to something that is the size of a quarter of a dollar bill and just moves up and down. Well, despite smacking it against every corner and edge of your home, <coughs> your big toe, or hallux, is a very important part of your foot. In fact, without it, you probably wouldn't have been able to walk very well to your desk in order to watch this video. Luckily, such unfortunate events like banging your toe off everything and tripping yourself up are avoided thanks to muscles like your extensor hallucis longus. And you'll learn all about its functions in the next few minutes. As our 3D model on the screen proudly showcases, the extensor hallucis longus is generally located on the anterior or ventral side of the leg. In fancy anatomy terms, we can more specifically describe it as being part of the anterior compartment of the leg, which is also known as the dorsiflexor compartment due to many muscles being involved in dorsiflexing your foot. But we'll speak more about that in a few moments. You can see on the screen that the extensor hallucis longus muscle is buried underneath other larger ones of this region, so it is located quite deep within the anterior compartment. Before learning what's up with this muscle, we'll have a look at who, or should I say what, excites it to contract in order to perform its function. The guilty nerve in question here is the deep fibula or perineal nerve whose fibres are derived from the 4th and 5th lumbar segments of the spinal cord, with most of the muscle's innovation coming from the L5 nerve root. At KenHub, we try to make your learning as easy as possible. Therefore, I'm going to show you the attachments of the extensor hallucis longus first, because if you can get your head around this aspect, the functions become intuitive, with no memorization required whatsoever. As you can see on the screen, the extensor hallucis longus originates from two places the middle portion of the anterior surface of the fibula, which you can see here, and the interosseous membrane, which is this band of fibres connecting the, the tibia and the fibula. Emerging from between the tibialis anterior and extensor digitorum longus, the extensor hallucis longus travels inferiorly in the anterior compartment of the leg until the distal third of the leg. Here, it appears at the surface and passes underneath the superior extensor retinaculum and through the inferior extensor retinaculum of the foot. It then follows the crest of the dorsum, or back of the foot, all the way towards the great toe, where it inserts onto the dorsal aspect of the base of its distal phalanx. Now that we've seen where the extensor hallucis longus attaches, understanding what joints it moves will be a piece of cake. The main fulcrums around which the muscles act are the ankle joint, together with the metatarsophalangeal and interphalangeal joints of the big toe. The ankle joint, also called the talocrural joint, is the connection point between the distal ends of the tibia and the fibula and the superior part of the talus. The metatarsophalangeal joint of the great toe, which you can see highlighted for you on the screen, is easy to keep in mind because you'll find it exactly where its name says it will be. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.